Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let me address each of you by name. Dallas, Delaney, Hannah, Jake, Jenna, Kirby, Madison, and Michael. Grace and peace to you. As we know, a message like this would normally be communicated to you within the sanctuary of United Lutheran during a service of worship and a rite of sending for our high school graduates. Due to circumstances of which we are all too painfully aware, we are unable to perform such a rite safely and comfortably within these confines. But the location of the rite and the message is not what makes it special. By now your families have wrapped you in one of the quilts that has been created by the quilters of United Lutheran Church. And wrapped tightly in those quilts, your families have spoken words of blessing and prayer, words of sending and empowerment with regard to the next stage of your life. They, in concert with the ministry of United Lutheran, have prepared you for just this moment, just this occasion, just this passage. By this point, you have learned much in your schooling. Knowledge has been acquired through math and science, history and social studies, English and literature and debate, band and choir, various forms of artistic learning and expression, home economics, shop class, and small engine repair. The rivulets of knowledge's river is endless. But as you graduate into the wider world, you will note it is not knowledge that the world is most often missing, but wisdom. It is not knowledge that is missing among our leaders, but wisdom. Wisdom which is able to patiently and creatively navigate complete competing claims to the truth. Wisdom which is able to navigate differences of opinion and perspective. Wisdom which won't buy into our country's divided atmosphere. Wisdom which understands that there is no such thing as a simple solution to a complex problem. Wisdom which understands that thinking, real thinking, is difficult and demanding and requires courage, humility, and a mind that is open to the truth no matter where it may be found or who speaks it. But most importantly, in a world which is so driven by retributive, or as we call it, eye for an eye justice, may you be grounded in the wisdom of the cross, the wisdom of Jesus Christ, the wisdom which understands that justice is authored by mercy, that difference of perspective is met with patience and understanding, that trespasses against one another are nothing more than opportunities for speaking the words of forgiveness and embodying the gestures of healing among one another. Wherever you go, whatever your vocation, be a priest or priestess of that divine mercy, that divine wisdom. That's what we have cultivated you to be. Dallas, Delaney, Hannah, Jake, Jenna, Kirby, Madison, and Michael. Again, congratulations. But know this, this is only the beginning of your pilgrimage, one suspended between God and neighbor.